Bang! Bang! <laughs> I need anything I can get. So today we're going to cook some vegan burgers because I've been getting some requests from my great vegan friends. It has been very meat heavy in the last several weeks. So of course the standard that we're gonna go with is the Beyond Burger. Uh, I think everyone's familiar with this brand and they kind of know this to be the standard. I think it's pretty funny. Incognito Burgers. Tastes like real meat, but it's not real meat. And the final brand is Garden Gardein, the ultimate beefless burger. And so we're gonna try and see how these stack up against each other. I've also purchased some vegan cheeses. I know vegans themselves don't necessarily like vegan cheese, so I'm a little concerned about trying these myself, but for science, we're gonna try them. Our first one today is Pepper Jack from Parmela Creamery. Just like smoked provolone slices. And our final brand is just like cheddar slices BioLife. 100% vegan. I also have some normal Swiss cheese from Costco that I'm gonna use to sort of compare the cheeses and how they stack up to normal cheese. But before we start heading over to the grill, I'm gonna taste test each of these vegan cheeses and uh, see how they taste. Very, very curious to see. The first one that we're gonna try, Parmela Creamery, Pepper Jack. I'll probably just take a bite out of a slice or something. Cultured from a creamy cashew milk. Let's do it. Cheesy slice. Wow, it's really soft. Almost like you're biting into a stick of butter, the texture. Almost tastes like you're just taking a spoon, dipping it into a tub of butter and eating it. Oh wow, and then there's a kick. It's not like most vegan cheeses where it's like glue. It's not melted yet, so it might still be glue. So to see. Our next selection of cheese is gonna be our smoked provolone slices from Violife. Here we go. Wow. That's really strong. The smokiness is the first thing that hits your tongue. The texture of it is probably spot on to real cheese. That taste though is just really smoky. That's good. That one was a lot better than the peppery jack. Our final slices of vegan cheese is the cheddar from the same brand of Violife. Ooh, it's really strange. It tastes exactly like elementary school cafeteria mac and cheese. The texture is just like the last one. It tastes like a normal cheese slice, but just a really processed flavor. It's really unique. I wouldn't say unpleasant, just very different. I don't think it's anything close to a real slice of cheddar, but I like it. it tastes good. Reminds me of being a kid. Let's start cooking. Gotta heat up this pan. That seems safe. Blue fire is like electric fire, guys. Mr. Scientist. <laughs> wow, this is great lighting. We're gonna start off with our Beyond Burger. Safety. Unlike a normal burger, these can be medium rare or rare because it's not meat and it won't undercook. It smells like almost like a real burger. I mean, it's like bleeding like one, so I'm gonna throw the cheese on. We're gonna throw some provolone right on there. In. We've got our farm style vegan wheat buns. We're gonna throw these in the toaster oven to get them nice and toasted. So once our buns are toasted, we're gonna transfer the burgers over to the plate. As you can see, the cheese didn't melt. We're just gonna go right into cooking our next one. This one I'm super excited for, Incognito. Let's get right to it then. ASMR. On this burger, we're gonna be putting our fiery jack right on there. You wanna do low heat when melting your cheese so you don't overcook your burger. As you can see, the vegan cheese didn't melt again. Very interesting. Now we're gonna cook our final sets of burgers, our Gardein Ultimate Beefless Burger. Now these burgers were frozen, and it seems like they have a marinade on them. So it says to cook these burgers five to six minutes from frozen on each side, or you can place it in the microwave as they're fully cooked. So our final set of burgers, we're gonna put on our cheddar cheese and our regular cheese. Yeah, look at that. That is hot. Safety. Ooh, it looks like this cheddar melted a little bit. A lot better than the other vegan cheeses. You can see our normal Swiss here, completely melted, obviously. And our final uncheesed burger. Now we're gonna try the burgers and we're gonna get our burger experts 
in here today is our burger expert, Amir Sulaimani. Hello everyone. Let's get right to it then. Our first burger that we're gonna try is our Beyond Burger. One with provolone on it, one without the provolone. All right. Smells edible. You're hungry, anything tastes good. So. That's true. There's like those crunchy bits in there, random hits. Stuff flavor, yeah. So you do taste the smokiness of the cheese coming. Might not necessarily taste like cheese, but you do get that flavor. You almost get the texture of like the melted cheese on a normal burger if you try it without the cheese. It's a lot better with the cheese in there. Yeah, I agree. It kind of adds like a creaminess to it, and it does have that smoked accent. Though I do wish that the cheese melted a little bit better, because sometimes you can taste like the hardness slightly of the cheese. It is hard to melt that vegan cheese. I have very low standards when it comes to food. I liked it, but in terms of like how it is close to a real burger, I'd give it like a seven or eight. And overall, like the experience of it, like an eight. But I, I would also give it around, I'd say maybe a seven. I think just the patty, but with the cheese, I think I think Vander made a good point that for comparing this to a regular burger, I think it doesn't have like that juicy profile that a regular meat has, but on its own, I think it's a good alternative. It's solid. I yeah, remember to eat like half of it. I was almost gonna finish I'm so the- I'm hungry, bro. I'm so hungry. So our next burger is now going to be the incognito. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> you know. So we'll get one with the cheese. We live in a society. One without the cheese. Interesting color. It did turn red. Originally it was a little bit more pink, but now that it's been cooling, it's turned red. So right off the bat, you taste the meat, the meat difference, like the yeah, taste. Yeah, the quality and the taste. Does it taste like more beefier to you? Yeah. Than the other ones? It has like a more hints of beef too. I was like trying to put my finger on it, but like you bite into it and you kind of get like this meat like euphoria. Compared to the Beyond, this one has a lot more of a like meat experience in it. It has a less crunch though, compared to the Beyond. True. Cheese is not bad. It gives you that kind of gooey consistency that kind of puts the batty and the, the patty. The batty. The batty. <laughs> The patty and the beef uh, it creates a nice kind of seal, a slight flavor component. To it. It's hard to notice, but if you really look for it, that pepper jack has a kick, but you have to really look for it. There's definitely like a lot more of like a, a meaty taste to it compared to the Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger is almost like kind of ambiguous when it comes to that. I like the cheese. I had one without the cheese, and I think it adds like like that creaminess again. Uh, it adds to the texture to like complement with the crunchiness of the patty or the toastedness of the of the bun. The taste kind of is. Is mellow compared to like a normal cheese, I'd say. I'd agree, yeah. I personally didn't notice the kick of the cheese. It doesn't taste bad. I, mean, I think that's a plus for vegan cheese. If it, if it doesn't taste bad, then it's it, good. <laughs> it's progress from, from what it was before. Definitely, I've had some vegan cheeses that are just like glue uh, in your mouth. Like paper. Yeah, I like paper. <laughs> All right, so we have our Gardein Ultimate Beefless Burger. I'm very skeptical of this one. We have one that has no cheese on it, one that has our vegan cheddar, and one is our regular Swiss. I'm scared. All right. Right off the bat of this, it has a marinade on it. And also, crazily, I think another different beef or flavor profile for the meat, right? It seems like the burgers that you would get at fast food places, like McDonald's. In terms of texture and like thickness, it almost looks exactly like a McDonald's patty. It doesn't taste like it, though. The looks, I gotta say, is pretty close to what, I don't know if you can see this, but the color and the consistency does look like an actual it looks like a real burger. So visually, I'd say the taste though is the worst of the three. <laughs> My personal preference. It tastes like those huge beef patty stacks that you get in like 20. The Walmart ones. Like a Walmart very cheap party pack. I hope the cheese redeems this burger. High, high hopes for that cheese is working overtime. Holy <laughs> shit. The moment I bit into that, it's just like, boo, what is going on inside my mouth? I'm sort of confused. Right? <laughs> that does not taste like what we had before. <laughs> so this cheese is either <laughs> damn work. <laughs> that is, this cheese built different. <laughs> now it kind of tastes like a burger from like a fast casual restaurant. You gotta find that. Here you go, gentlemen. Cheddar cheese. So. It now tastes like a burger that you would get from like Ruby's. It, the cheese is putting in work, but I feel like the patty is pretty bad. It's 
Yeah. I expect it's kind of plain, but maybe now the regular Swiss the will regular. like make it godly with the, the lactose. And <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like I can't really take the the taste of the meat. It still overpowers everything else. Better with the cheese though. This tastes like if a European tried to make an American burger with the Swiss on it. I swear I had something like this in Europe before. So it's interesting, other brands have came in two packs. I don't know, do you think they put a higher quality in the two packs versus a four pack? Oh, definitely. <laughs> like this one compared to the first two, the scale goes from like eating at a McDonald's burger to eating like at a sit down restaurant burger. Like that's the difference in quality between the, uh, the first two and this third one. You're sacrificing quality for quantity. True. And the price point is Actually, I think cheaper. Yeah, so this is actually the same price as the first two. Considering money, good investment. Shout out to the, the cheddar cheese. The Just care, carrying that second. Vio Life cheddar cheese. Not an ad. So, we're gonna give our final thoughts. And for some context, the Gardein is $3.99, Incognito is $4.99, and the Beyond Burger is $5.99. For the Guardian one, you get higher quantity for the lowest price. That's reflective in the quality of the meat and this weird marinade that's on the burger. I don't know why it has a marinade on it. That was a bit strange, but that was, I think, my least favorite burger. That was also my least favorite, and so I expected it to be. It's not trying to target the same audience that Incognito and Beyond. The Gardein falls more in line with like the veggie burger audience, but it's not trying to emulate a real burger. I see, okay. Yeah, whereas like Incognito and Beyond, like they're literally, their entire platform is saying this is one-to-one, -one, a real beef burger. It bleeds, it does this. It goes. We're not trying to emulate what an actual burger would taste like. No. We're just trying to make our own veggie burgers. Veggie burger, yeah, vegan burgers. I see. Out of these, like, that was my least favorite. I think my next... It's tough because the incognito had that like meaty profile that you said. That's true. I like the texture of the Beyond more. The Beyond seemed more like a real burger. Like just the taste of the incognito was better than the Beyond. It's like hard to differentiate which comes ahead of the other for me. I think I'm gonna be edgy. My second pick is probably Beyond Burger. Incognito, I don't think anyone's really heard of this. Have you heard of this brand? No. I mean, we just found this today. It's up there with the with the taste profiles for the burgers. So it's also cheaper. This is like a rising star, possibly. <laughs> Going back to the Beyond Burger, the Beyond Burger is considered like the staple, the staple of veggie burgers, so it's always up there. But uh, the taste for the Beyond Burger was good. It, was, it tasted like a regular burger. Uh, it, to me, it was moist. Like if you see the texture, you get that kind of pull. But I have to give my top spot to Incognito. I love that yeah. name so much. Like, this is wild though, Incognito. <laughs> incognito needs to sponsor us. That's wild. I can't wait to wear my Incognito t-shirt in the next video. I'll be honest, when I heard you bite into the, the cheddar cheese, Vanderstray hit the hit the roof with that one bro. So this cheese, I probably, t I like a classic cheddar or American cheese on a burger. Swiss is obviously really good. We also tried an oak. Smoked provolone and pepper jack. The smoked provolone though. I think my third selection probably have to be the pepper jack just because didn't really add to the burger as much as the other two did. That creaminess was there. Um, all three of them didn't melt. Of the three, the pepper jack was the one that, it was hard to really see what it was trying to do or how it was trying to complement the burger. I don't think it was, it wasn't specific enough for a specific flavor. Like the spiciness was there a little bit, but like- You have to search for it. it you have to look. It, it's almost non-existent. So. Second place, I'm gonna give it to cheddar cheese slice. It gave that kind of cohesiveness to the burger that, that binds the patty to the, the patty to the, the bun. The patty. The patty to the bun. <laughs> I thought for a vegan cheese, it was, it was good. It was solid. Yeah. It added to the burger. That's all you can ask for, like a good texture, good creaminess, but I just think the provolone was what well. put that over the top. Like that one had the texture, the creaminess, the flavor, all in one package. The first really bite, strong. you notice that right off the bat. Like Immediately, that it's like smokiness. And it's really easy because people burn oak chips and wood, so their meat absorbs that smokiness flavor, but this is a straight shortcut. Have the cheese with the smokiness and you can 
tasted in your burger. Definitely in my top spot. Vegan cheese isn't as bad as I remember it being. Uh, it's definitely come a long way. The vegan cheeses you're probably gonna find at like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, like those really bougie supermarkets, but it's gonna be hard to find these kind of cheeses at like a, like a normal grocery store. This has been an episode of Bender Cooks, and we'll see you.